Hello everybody, Greg Stagger here, your K-12 tech guy with another tutorial. This one's created completely using an iPad. And what we're actually going to show you today is how to go in and change your account information using the iPad. Now the first thing we need to do is locate your settings icon. That's going to be this fella right down here. Now it may not be in the same place on your iPad, but that's the icon that you're going to want to look for. Now after you tap on that settings icon, you should be taken to the settings page. On the settings page, you'll want to scroll down just a little bit to try to find the store option right down here go ahead and select store when you've done that you'll see that on the right hand side the panel changes to reveal the store information along with the Apple ID located at the bottom of that list so what we'll need you to do is go ahead and tap right on your Apple ID now at this point you can tap the view Apple ID button to go into your Apple ID information or you can sign out uh, sometimes uh, you may need to use a different Apple ID for perhaps making a purchase or something like that so you may want to completely sign out and then the next time you go to the Apple Store uh, you'll be prompted for both your Apple ID and your password the idea is that normally you don't get to change that it just prompts you for your password when you go into the store to purchase things so this is how we're going to go ahead and, and be able to do that by signing out here uh, you can also hit the I forgot button if you've forgotten uh, your information so at this point we're just going to go ahead and tap on the view Apple ID and when we do that you're probably going to be prompted to put in um, your password to access your account settings so go ahead and, and enter in the information that's appropriate there and it should bring you to your account settings bo uh, box window here um, you'll see your Apple ID there at the top you'll see the payment information line and your country region line at the top under the heading of edit so if you want to go ahead and change your Apple ID information you're going to tap on the Apple ID uh, portion at the top. Once you've done that, it should take you into the next screen. And on this page now, you can go ahead and edit that Apple ID and password information. Be sure that you follow the rules that they have uh, for making passwords. Otherwise, you'll get a fail message. If we were to go back a couple screens and instead of hitting your Apple ID, you were to hit uh, under the edit your payment information, here you can actually change your credit card information. Uh, one thing that you have to do is put in your credit card information when you make a purchase for the first time with your iTunes uh, Apple ID account. Um, unless you're creating or, or installing a free app, you'll, you'll go through that account creation process and then it will give you an option for none. But if you're making a purchase for a uh, paid app, you'll have to put in uh, credit card information. And sometimes that can be a little uh, a bit of an issue for some folks. So one thing you can do is put some information in there and once that's done you can go in and change that so maybe you don't want to use the visa maybe you want to use the mastercard or the discover card or you just don't want anything in there you can select none now and not have any information on file of course you'll be restricted to purchasing only the free apps but hey sometimes that's the best route to go well that's it for this tutorial this shows you how to find these settings using your iPad. Uh, they're not um, real hard to get to, but they're not exactly the most easy uh, of places to get to. So hopefully this was helpful. Thank you and have an awesome day.